Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. I'm Aquatic Feline, and I'm going to tell you something right now. I did some stuff off screen. I went and picked up four fairies, and I upgraded my bomb capacity to its maximum. So I have max bombs, which are F50, and max arrows at 70. Today we'll be taking on the Ice Palace, level 5. And I've already played through it quite a bit, so I can pretty much go through it rel relatively fast. What this means is, you may be able to see into the next dungeon a little bit. Ooh, it's 319 now, so I'm going to stop and say... Not 329, but I have to do math. Addition is hard, okay? Let's see... Well, we we're just going to stop at 323. How does that sound? Wait, no. Three, oh my god, 333. I don't know what I'm killing these guys for. You don't have to kill those guys, but if you do, you get the compass. Please ignore my terrible math. I can't do math when playing things at the same time. I actually really can't do math at all. I'm terrible at math. Now instead of screwing around with these death penguins, we're just going to use Bombos. Quit screwing around. Don't worry about wasting magic and killing these death penguins, because they have a very high chance of dropping magic, it seems. See? I told you. See? See? Hey, once you hit that button, just go back the way you came. The, to the right, so then end. Basically, what you need to do is go up here. I'm electrocuted. Electrifying. Ow! Oh, it's like that song. I don't know what that song is, though, because I don't watch bad musicals. I don't know if it's bad musicals or not. And you guys have no idea what I'm talking about. Anyway, in this dungeon we get to see our first, possibly only, Stalfos. Or Skeleton Knights, so they're, as Salad Ham calls them from this tablet. See? You cannot destroy the Salad... Salad Ham? You cannot destroy the Skeleton Knight with sword alone. When he collapses, he's vulnerable to another weapon. As everyone knows, they're vulnerable to bombs. So just hit him. Hit him with your sword or whatever, or what have you, and bomb him out. This room's annoying, but... Usually I just take out the magic cape, use it, and dash. Need to kill the second jellyfish because he drops a key. Wow! That's how you get through that room relatively painlessly. After that, break out your hookshot. Lift this up, hookshot, press the button, hookshot, and you're through that room relatively painlessly. And this room you can get through relatively painlessly too! <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I've done this dungeon way so way too many times. I've practiced it like five times. So I know what I'm doing. Yo. Exactly. Yeah. Here the floor is gonna fall out. But you wanna fall, so it's okay. And then you head straight back down here and whip out your hook shot. Yes, I have to say whip out your hookshot so it sounds sexual. Because everyone knows Link's hookshot. Like, it, well, it, lure, it will grab onto a girl and reel them in for his pleasure. <laughs> Don't worry, they're all willing. Otherwise Link won't do it because Link's a good guy. For example, Zelda. Zelda totally tap that. I mean, Link would totally tap that. Oh yeah. Now let's set up the staircase. Once here, you'll be attacked by Stalfos. I'm not going to bother bombing them because it takes too much time. And you don't really have to bomb them. Just hit them. And pull this guy's tongue. Quick, Charlie, grab onto her tongues. Head up the staircase, and voila! This is the dead end I was talking about earlier. I'm not going to show you guys. Hey, remember that place where I bom bombos the death penguins? Well, if you went right, you would have ran into that death e dead end. Death end. Death end. I want to make a band called Death End. It'd be a death metal band, too, to counteract hippies. Because everyone knows hippies hate death metal. There are actually a lot of people who hate death metal, even if they're not hippies. And that's how you get back across the spike pit. That's pretty clever, ain't it? Am I missing a key? Just one I am. No, I'm not. I don't know what I'm talking about, yo. Go down. No! That was loud. Go down the staircase, Link. Please. 
This is the hardest part of the entire dungeon, getting linked down these stairs. Thank you. It's worth a hit. Once that, you take out your fire rod and... <laughs> oh, I didn't know those guys dropped the treasure chest. What's in it? Probably bombs. It's bombs. You've got some bombs! Yay! We have to bomb out that floor and fall down it, because now that we have the big key, we can open the big chest. What's inside of it, guys? Find out next time. Bye. I'm just kidding. You found the blue mail. This armor reduces the damage you take from enemies. It also makes Link Willer Willer. I can't talk. I just like seriously can't talk today. It makes Link wear a silly yellow hat. Isn't that a silly yellow hat? Yeah, I've been talking to my cat too much. My cat's been annoying me all day. I know I'm out of mana. It's kind of important that you try to keep at high mana because you need at least half mana to take out uh, the boss. I'd recommend 60% magic just to be safe. If you don't have double magic though, you definitely need to go full magic bar. Definitely. They mostly come at night, mostly. Now let's sit down here. Basically, you needed to come down here to hit that. That's it. I need to go all the way back upstairs. There's, the last part of this dungeon involves lots of backtracking, and it's silly. It's a silly head. Kind of like Link's hat. Link, your hat is silly. Dib, your head's big. My head isn't big. Everyone knows Dib's head has a portable hole into another dimension in it. No. Lost my sword beams again. Where? where da, da, da. Okay, I'm losing my mind now because I did not know where the button was even though I just hit it like less than five minutes ago. Less than like a minute ago, actually. I don't get what's with those little black things. They're like stealthy. Little shadow monsters, I should say. They're not really black. They're like the lack of light. Which I guess is black, but still. They're shadow monsters. I hate them. I also hate these blue jellies. Anyway, you just need to press that button to get a key in a box. There's a lot of those in this dungeon, so always pick up pots if you're confused, because you might have missed a key somewhere. And if you are confused and you're doing this dungeon, and you get lost somewhere, don't be afraid to review and give me another view. Because I am doing a pretty good walkthrough here, aren't I? I'd like to believe so. Das penguins! I need mana. You, you'll drop full mana. No, you won't. Why not? Why do you hate me, Death Penguins? Why? <laughs> anyway, now that we've... Anyway, now that we've gotten on the other side, we can push this block down. We're gonna need this block, and I'll tell you why. You lift up this skull thing, and there's a button. You need to push the block onto the button to hold it down so you can get through the door. And this, my friends, is the final room before the boss, believe it or not. If you need mana, come to the right. And hope those blue jellies drop mana. I think there's some in here too. No, there isn't, I lied. Okay, and yeah, and yeah. Okay, good. They do give you plenty of mana refuels. Well, not plenty, but good enough. If you don't have half magic before coming to this dungeon, go get it. Seriously, like, I'm stretching it here. You come across this boss. The only way to hurt it is with the fire rod. I've run out of magic trying this before. Just spam fire rod at it. It's pretty big, so you don't have to worry about missing it. Once that happens, it'll split into three. You need to destroy all three different things. Uh, fire rod or sword works on these. If you can get them cornered, it works great. Spin attacks are also useful. I'm not gonna die, don't worry. No, I died! <laughs> It hurts, little fairy, it hurts. Don't worry, Link, I'll save you. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh Link. Oh. Now I'll take out these things. Fast, quickly. Quickly, my friends, quickly. You see, unlike the second boss where you fought three different things at once, it doesn't get any stronger when there's just one left, so don't worry about trying to keep them all at equal health so you can burn them down real fast at the end. Just, you know, kill them. If there's a sword swipe in there, take it. It's actually a relatively easy boss. Let's see what this maiden has to say. Aqua. 
because of you, I can escape the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. They say that the Hylia people controlled by mysterious powers, as they did some wise men. But the blood of the Hylia has become thin over time. We who carry the blood of the seven wise men do not possess strong power anymore either. Our powers will increase if we mix the courage of the knights with wisdom of the wise men. Only a short time remains until the gate at the castle linking the worlds opens completely. If you do defeat Ganon, this world will vanish and the Triforce will wait for a new holder. I believe in you. Good luck. Do you understand? May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. So, I'm gonna go peek in this sixth dungeon. Because it's only. Wait, if I started. Uh, I could just make a short video now. I'll show you. No, I'll go to the sixth dungeon at least. Getting to the sixth dungeon is really easy. Just use the mirror, then the flute. This is the only way to get there, by the way is using the flute. So if you don't have the flute, you need to go get the flute. 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 And you lift up this, so you need the Titan's Mid as well. And you went to We've been here before, so... You also need a another thing. And I'll show you. Watch out for centipedes! They're I hate centipedes, they freak me out. You know centipedes eat dead bodies? I'm serious. It's like their main source of food. Dead bodies. You have to use ether, so if you don't have ether, go get it next to the third dungeon on top of Death Mountain in the Light World using the Book of Medora. Or view my previous videos to figure out how. Hehe, <laughs> please view my videos. 